Hey guys, how's it going? So just before I take off camping and get packing, I thought I'd just quickly show you three DIY mods that I've done to this bike over the last year or so. Um, you don't need many tools. Uh, it's pretty simple to make, save you some money, and depending on your kind of riding, they're actually quite helpful. So uh, first of all, got the headlight shield. It's good if you're following someone on a gravel road. If you ride with a lot of people, it'll save you from breaking your headlight. Only cost a few dollars, if that. Um, I do have a video of this. I'll put it in the description and check it out if you're interested. Number two, this alloy fender brace that I made for my tool bag. If you're carrying tire levers, pumps, etc., they're good to have. It stabilizes your whole front fender. And if you're not using a tool bag, it's actually quite helpful to steady the front fender. Some people don't have issues, some people do, but it can't hurt to have it. I just followed the contours of the actual fender as much as I could anyway, and then connected it with one bolt at the front. Took a little bit of shaping and um, took my time, bit of fun, couple of beers. Turned out okay, I think. But yeah, that would have cost a couple of dollars at the most as well. So that's number two. I've also got a video of that in the description, me making it. I'll put that there too. All right, and finally, just a quick video, guys. This really comes in handy for me when you're going into muddy spots, things like that. I made this out of a piece of steel, and it's just held on with one. If you can see it, you can't really see it. There's one bolt here, and it just goes through. And in between this little hole here, I just put a nut, Loctited, and just holds it on. It hasn't hasn't come off. It's made out of high carbon steel, I think. That's why I didn't really make it too too big. But it probably doubles the the foot pad of the kickstand, so prevents you from slipping. It's helped me a few times already. Depends where you live though. If you've got nice hard ground, it doesn't really matter. But yeah, so that's uh, three basic DIY mods. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you later.